Hey Pokemon fans, I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are. We're going to go ahead and hop into another match and we're going to try to cool off with another uh, matchup with my Empoleon deck based off of the Empoleon from Ultra Prism. Uh, it's, a really cool, it's a really cool deck. I really like it. Um, I wouldn't even call it even like a top tier one deck by any means, but I'm trying to make it uh, even more viable for the upcoming season and I think it really could uh, shine. But in case you're brand new to my channel, I've been opening up one Pokemon booster pack every single day. In addition to that, I also been uploading daily gameplay matches as well for about the past week and a half or so. Uh, you'll see some cards from Celestial Storm in here. I was actually really happy to pull this full art even to resolve. Um, I'm not really the type of person, like, I mean, there are some people who go for, like, the rarest or the coolest looking cards on the online game and in person, too. I know people who play with full sets of full art cards, and I'm just like, okay, go ahead and play with, like, a like a $300 deck, but I'm not going to do that with the cards that look as gorgeous as this in real life, at least. But... That's just my opinion on that there. I'm um, really excited with this, where this deck has been. And I'm just trying to figure out ways to make it run more consistent and more smooth. And I have some ideas going forward. Um, something I haven't done with this deck yet. I think I'm, I'm slowly just trying to think about how... So the main attacker is Empoleon. But I'm trying to think about how to get a Stage 2 out just quicker with the upcoming meta. Uh, some good things here. I mean, I want, there's a lot of things I just won't have to worry about in a, in a matter of just a couple weeks. I'm really excited for the rotation to finally be here and just to finally kick into full force. Let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Uh, what's fun? Um, it is never a bad idea. If you have a chance to take a look at your deck and just want to take a peek at what's there, you by all means can do that. I know for a fact I don't have any Ultra Beast in here, but that is a viable move. I have... Wait, how many water energy? You gotta be kidding. I think... I don't remember, like I said, how, exactly how many water energy. Is that six water en That's interesting. I, I know I have, like... How many water energy? Like I said, I haven't played with this deck um, aggressively a lot lately. I think it's all energy that's prized right now. A two. I don't. I don't know what to remember what the exact count is. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna definitely keep that in mind. That was like that's very important. So we're definitely gonna be taking our time here. Uh, I'm gonna throw out two pups because more likely, um, more likely. I don't even know if I'm gonna use Zork this time around. Um, I know use uh, Empoleon this time around, so we might we might use just a backup round. We might just be going with pure Zork right now, because I just don't know if um, I don't know where this match is gonna go. So we're gonna go ahead and take our time right there. Um, we'll see what happens. I don't I don't really know where this where this match is gonna go. There's many things. Um, oh, I know what Popula will evolve into. This could be a deck like my buddy was playing with the other day. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw any stack attackers in there. Um, it's a really good consistent card that would beef up all of his ultra um ultra beast pokemon and we got a nun gondel i actually pulled one of these the other day it was actually pretty cool to get that that cool looking fella um cynthia cynthia is is life <laughs> and then 20 20 damage for each Ultra Beast Pokemon in play that you have in play. A good card. Well, I would really like to get... I wonder what the max damage is. Hmm. Interesting. I would love to play Steven's Resolve, but I just don't think that's a good idea. I think I'm going to go ahead and play N, and we're going to see what that does. We're not to see N and a couple other cards here in just a matter of a few weeks. Uh, that worked out actually pretty well. I can go ahead and discard. I am not crazy about discarding the the floatstone, but I can come in and start swinging a little bit. Um, Zor can take a hit, and like, actually we can get go ahead and get rid of this. I can get up to uh, 150. Yeah, he doesn't have. I, I was still thinking I was playing against my friend's stack attack of deck, so I will definitely definitely retreat out here. I'm deciding what I want to discard. Um, I think it's going to be the Rare Candy and Steven, actually, because I just don't think I'm going to need those things. Um, like I said, I'm playing this deck really differently. I'm basically playing almost like a pure Zork deck at this point, so if I really want to go for Empoleon, I really should be trying to go for some other things as well. I just realized I'm going to have to discard the Choice Pan as well, but that's okay. I'll be able to still get some damage off. 
off this turn and maybe get something really good for some draw support next turn. Um, that's okay, I have another choice band in there anyways, so... It's so weird, it's, go it's so weird going back, I'm finally going back and forth more between uh, standard and expanded, and just the overall climate of, um, just the overall climate of the, uh, the difference, the, just the difference between standard and expanded is so, is so, uh, so different. But we got some draw support, and we got a McCargo out on the bench, so this won't be anything crazy, no, no crazy numbers or anything like that, but that is enough to shed off for a potential knockout for next turn. I would still need a choice ban. Like I said, if you play stack attack or anything like that, then that also would also stop that as well. Um, and I just got to pay attention to my energy count right now. Um, I would say almost all of... Thankfully, I also get resistance as well. ahead and thin out the deck a little bit let's throw out let's throw out God, I still have type of lilies in there I don't know people people might be the way to go still um, and then I'm gonna discard this in polio. do I want to use I don't think I want to use Macargo yet I'm gonna go ahead and wait one turn or one one um, one trade and we'll see what happens is there anything I want I want a supporter card. That's what I want right now. Um, one more cargo for Sycamore still in the format, right? I've been practicing a lot with um, other buddies and stuff, so we'll go ahead and Sycamore. I could choice ban with that. I'm gonna drink. Yeah, yeah. I know what I'll do. I'm gonna go ahead and go for this DCE at the top. We're gonna go ahead and discard. I I want to hold on to that Ultra Ball. Um, so we're going to discard a uh, print plug, which does make evolving Piplup. I can only evolve him in a few certain ways now, but maybe I should have held out on that just a little bit longer. Um, what are the odds of him getting knocked out next turn? But I, I know those are the two DCE that I have. But I think I think I need it. I think I need to go for numbers right now, and then hopefully I can start stacking up, um, pip up and get Empoleon out there and get the two energies I need to in order to attack. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. He lives to fight another day. So, what's the max? He doesn't have. He has a float stone on there, but he could attach anything else. So the, the odds of the Zor could still get knocked out, and probably will. So there's not much I can do about that. Um, what I need to do that Cynthia came at a perfect time. I need to start stacking my bench to get ready to use um, the main. The main function of this deck is supposed to be um, Piplup. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I have that Cynthia here right now. So let's go ahead and do this because I think. I think getting a knockout shouldn't be the most impossible thing in the world. This no, no, I, I could get the knockout right now if I wanted to. Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead, and what we're gonna start doing is uh, we're gonna use the cargo, and we're gonna actually trade this turn for something else. And Volpix might be able to help out a little bit here. I might be able to slow down with nine tails next turn in case I need to stall or anything like that. So, like I said, it's been months since it's been months since I've 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 come back to this deck, so I'm still kind of like getting my bearings with it. But let's go ahead and put a uh, water energy at the top. 
because we're going to attach that this turn. It's just a matter of what I want to discard. I might go ahead and play N next turn um, to slow down my opponent because he probably will get a knockout. Probably. Is there anything else I could do to prevent that? 20. I wish I had a choice man or something, but we'll let's go ahead and trade out. Go ahead and trade out Sycamore. I don't know if that's the right thing to trade out, but because he, he will probably get a knockout next turn. And then I'll be down to my last two prize cards. But that came in at a good time, actually. Not that it's going to matter too much. We can start spreading out some, ener uh, some water energy. And let's set out Vulpix. I think Vulpix could be pretty good. There's really nothing else I really need to trade for at this time. And we'll see what happens. Like I said, those double colorless came in at a fantastic moment. That was good timing there. That like I knew I had more in there. Um, yeah, it's all all energies prize this match. That's that's crazy. Um, yeah, because I, I don't remember. It was either seven or eight water energy. I don't remember off the top of my head. And of course, Beast Ring comes in here. Uh, I could have told you that. I could have told you that 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 card was on the way. Um, We'll see what happens. It'll be if he has Guzma or anything like that. It will be pretty tough for me to get. Let me see. I might be able to really show the stopping power of of Empoleon next turn though, because he's gonna go for the knockout and he has to discard. I guess he had to do that. Cool, alrighty, it's time to show the penguin in action. So, total command at his uh, highest evolution, he does 20 damage for each Pokemon on the bench, which means he can do a total, total of 200. We're gonna take advantage, and we're gonna try to really slow down my opponent still. So I wanna try to save those double uh, those double colorless energy still for Zork. So I still have another Zork out on my bench right now. We're gonna Macargo for another water, another water energy. I actually kinda of wanna Macargo for something else because I can go ahead and just use that double colorless energy. I'd like to just discard his Ultra Space. Um, do I really have to do that though? I mean, all of his guys benefit from Ultra Space being out on the field, but he might have more anyways, but in case Empoleon were to get knocked out next turn, there's a couple things. There's a couple things I should really be wary of. Um, let's go ahead, and I'm I'm gonna put something at the top of my deck, and I still can play my supporter card this turn too. I just don't know what I want to play, so we're gonna go ahead and use this. Um, I think because at the very least, I can still I can still attack this turn. And I need one more Pokemon out of my bench, anyways. Let's. Let's get the best of both worlds here. If I if I change my mind, we can take care of we can take care of that right now. Let's go ahead and trade. Um, I guess the Ultra Ball. I guess the Ultra Ball. Uh, I don't know if I want less cards in my hand right now, but we'll go ahead trade. We get a Piplup anyways. That'll take care of that. Um, I should have maybe maybe I should have gone for some more energy. Um, and I got, I've got energy. I got the double colorless. Why, why am I worried about that? Um, no, the best thing I can do while N is in the format would be to play N right now, I think. Also, I have my rare candies and other things in there too, and I have Piplup uh, here, so it would not be impossible. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and just get the knockout. Yeah, I like that. Play N see just see what happens what I can do this turn two I can still I don't know if it's a good decision to try to evolve I can evolve that Piplup this turn but it's gonna come at the cost of uh, discarding either or ruin the aqua patch that's fine and I still have Tapu Lele to set out for this turn too oh I don't even I don't even have the evolution there so we're gonna have to rely on some other fun things too um, interesting, very interesting. Is my rescue stretcher there too? My rescue stretcher's there. Okay, that's good, because I'm going to need that. So at this point, at this point, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and grab, no, 
I don't know if that was the right decision. I'll grab Cynthia. Because I need my bench stacked all the way, so we'll grab Cynthia or something for next turn. Maybe that'll come in handy. Because um, I still have to get two double colors energy off, water energy. All, all of that has to come, come together next turn, but I will get the knockout this turn. Um, like I said there, Empoleon Total Command is a pretty cool attack when it works. Um, Aqua Patch and water energy. Like I said, I still have to be able to monkey out a few things next turn, but having Zork and Macargo here do make some things possible. But I don't remember 20, 40, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, uh, 100, and then I think it's another 30 with that. So 130 right now, I think, is what he's at. Is it 30, dam 30 more damage, right? All right, right, 20. I just don't know what the likelihood is of getting everything I need next turn. Or, wait, 200. So the one thing I need now is let's take, is my choice ban. 200, you're just about to see Empoleon here in action. I absolutely love this deck, and I'm excited to see what it could do in the upcoming meta. Like I said, this deck takes a while to get going, but once it gets going, 200 for a stack bench. If you have a choice ban, you can be doing up to 230 damage. There are not a lot of Pokemon that can stand up to it. So I'm going to be experimenting. This will probably be my deck I use a lot in standard format. Um, like I said, it was it was weird. I started out there with using Zorak more often, and I was actually the underdog there for a, a while, but I came back around there right at the last second. Like I said, this deck is well underway. I've thought about just throwing out the Zorks completely and just throwing in Oranguru for draw support, and that might be something I go in the direction, but we'll just go ahead and see where this deck takes me in the following year. But fellow trainers, I hope you're having a great day wherever you are, and I will see you tomorrow as always.